hey man, yes, I would be interested in that watch. Uh, please, can you let me know what year it is? And also, if you have some pictures, please, um, can you also send those? Thanks, man. Welcome back, everybody. Episode 16 of Watch Life. If you could like this video, please give it a like. And if you're new, please do subscribe. I have bought a watch. I bought a uh, Rolex Submariner, the Starbucks or the Kermit or the Sermit, whatever you want to call it. It's the 126. One, one, two, six, six, one, two, six, six, one, zero, LV. The new, the new soap. Um, beautiful, beautiful watch, 2021, full set, box papers. If you want to buy it, you can buy it right now. I'm advertising it at 15.3K, 15,300 pounds, which is, as far as I know, the cheapest I've seen online. So get in touch if you like the watch. I need to go and pick up the watch. I think I'm meeting the guy somewhere in London, undisclosed uh, location. Um, but yeah, I need to go pick it up. So I will see you very soon with the watch. Um, and yeah, you can take a look at it. Um, you'll be glad to know that I've tidied my apartment a little bit. It's looking okay. It's not looking bad. What else do I have to update you on before I go get this watch? I actually don't know. Business stuff. I I'll talk about business stuff when I get back or all that's happening because it's very exciting. Actually, I'm not gonna leave yet. So the guy that I just sent that voice note to has got back to me. Oh my God, you're wonky. Um, so I'm gonna see if he will pick up. Uh, so it's a bluesy. I just need to find out what year it is. Um, let's see if he picks up. Hello. Hi there. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Yeah, doing well, thank you. So I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's brand new, unworn. Um, I'd probably go to maybe 12, 7, 12, 12, 8. Okay, uh, let me tell you where I'm at. Um, I've got a couple of quotes, one of which is from... Oh, yeah. I've used them before to sell, and they've offered 13.2. Ooh. Whether that's because I've used them before mm. or not. So what I think is, I work backwards, you don't need to know this, but I'm just thinking what I would want to advertise it at to sell it myself. And yeah. I, don't, I don't think I'd be... I don't think I'd be above, much above 14. I'm just trying to think if, if I could beat that 13.2 or not. That's that's my question right now. Um, yeah, 13.3, 13.35, that and upwards would probably be the figure that I'd hit for for me. Okay. I'll have a think. I'll get back to you. Cool. Thanks a lot. Speak soon. Bye. 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 There you go. So often is the case when you speak to potential clients or, you know, sellers of watches, um, they will go to a bunch of dealers. They might go to 10 people, me included. They'll ask for the, the best, they'll ask for the best quote, they'll get the best prices, and then obviously they'll take the most money. I would have to get up to 13.3K for him to want to sell me that watch. Um, I mean, if anyone watching this is interested in this watch, I mean, let me know, comment, get in touch on Instagram, but it's not the best deal in the world, to be honest, 13.3K. Um, but you know there's still there's still margin to work with it's a popular watch you know it'd be better if it was full steel obviously but yeah i've got to think about it anyway i do need to go now because i'm probably late for this uh, starbucks pickup so need my bag where is my bag ah here it is but yes i will keep you updated on this starbucks deal okay i have the watch it's not in the box because um I'm actually taking some links out at the moment. I want to wear it myself only to take some photos. I want to do a quick wrist roll. Um, so I'm going to take a couple of links out and put them back in once I am done taking photos. So I've bought this watch and you, you might be thinking, you know, what sort of checks have you done to make sure that this watch is legit? Well, there's a few things you can do. The first thing, the best thing is trust the person or the business that you're buying from because you would like to think that they have done the necessary checks before you need to do any yourself. So if it's a trusted dealer like I've actually bought this watch from, you're, you're pretty much good to go. But what I also will do is um, use a loop and with the card, if you use the UV light, I'll show you this. If you use the UV light on the card, you can actually see certain things on the card that you want, that you can't see with the naked eye. Um, that's the first thing. The next thing you can do is um, obviously check the serial number on the card and then make sure that that matches up with the serial number on the watch. And you can find that on like the inside that checks out. With the actual watch itself, some checks that you can do 
take a look at the dial, make sure that, to be honest, looking at the Rolex writing is often a giveaway. The quality of the writing and whether it's all in line or not, looking at the plots, uh, looking at the crown, how good the crown is, the hands sometimes. Over time, even just the feel of a watch, I've held this watch many times now and I know that that's not enough, you know, just by going off the weight, but it, it does help. I have held certain fakes in the past and they don't feel quite right. But having said that, good fakes these days do weigh the same. Um, but yeah, no, this watch checks out completely. So like I said, I'm gonna take some more links out um, and see how it feels on the wrist. <laughs> oh, that's so cringe. Um, so, don't know if you've noticed, but I wear caps quite often. And people like to say, I can't believe you're wearing another dealer's cap. Like, I wear this, this is a Trotter's cap. And people say, like, why do you wear that? Well, I like the guys at Trotter's. I think they're, I think they're great. Why wouldn't I wear their cap? Like, anyway, um, do you know what? I'm going to attempt to do something with my hair because I have quite long floppy hair at the front. I never do anything with it because as soon as I walk outside, the wind will just mess it up. So that is why people are gonna say shave your head, but it's honestly, it's just easier to, it's so much easier just to wear a cap. Anyway, it is a new day and I have bought another watch. I've bought a new watch, which is very good news. So I've now got two new watches. Where can I put you? Where can I put you? I'm gonna put you there. Let's see if that works. Okay, yeah, so I bought a new watch. Uh, I'm gonna wait to show you what it is. Very popular watch, it's a 2021. Uh, I'm sure you guys are gonna like it. Uh, also, before you, before you say anything about this, it's cool, it just is. But yes, I'm gonna head out right now to pick up this watch. And uh, do you know what, guys? You come in with me. The main question is, what watch am I gonna wear today? Well, also, what watch, which watch, which watch? What is the, what is the correct English? Because what watch sounds bizarre, which watch? Which watch? It's Tiffany in color. It's super popular in the watch community. Uh, it's actually very cheap. It is a Tiffany dial, Tiffany case, Tiffany bracelet, Casio, <laughs> F91W. Yeah, it's a good watch. Right, I'm talking rubbish. I'll see you when I get the watch. I'm guessing you don't want your voice on camera either. You don't want anything. I can't, I can't see you by the way. So I am at the Sky Lounge at the top of my building. The, uh, the person I bought from doesn't want to be on camera, which is understandable. So what is the watch you may be wondering? Well, it is a Black Submariner date. The 126610LN. Very, very good looking watch. This is the 41 millimeter, the new slimmer design of the watch. It is uh, dated September 2021 comes full box papers. Uh, you have the swing tag as well is included. And actually, this watch is pretty much, pretty much fully stickered, um, which is, you can argue, quite hard to come by these days. Uh, it's got the barcode sticker on the side, clasp sticker, um, the sticker on the back of the, the case as well. So, if you are looking for this 2021 black sub date you can get in touch with me right now it will be for sale and i'm going to advertise this at uh, 12,750 pounds go over to my instagram and shoot me a message always happy to chat what do i need to do now i actually need to go into central london i'm going to head into central london all right okay so i have a confession to make I am about to buy a watch. Customer information. Another watch. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's it's not a it's not a luxury watch. It's uh, functional. I need it for running. Track my heart rate. Can you think what that watch is? It's a very good brand. One of the biggest brands in the world. Maybe the biggest. Um, I feel like people aren't. I feel like people are going to hate on me for this. I'm going to buy 
an Apple Watch. I think, I think I'm gonna do it. So I'm in Stratford right now, coming to the shopping center. I'm getting an Apple Watch, guys, all right? Just allow this, just allow me to do this, please. Well, I was gonna go into the Apple Store, but they've had like a power cut. No, the systems are down or something, which literally happened five minutes before I got here. Why, why would that happen? Literally, the watch gods are telling me to not buy an Apple Watch. Some of you will be very happy about that, I'm sure, but. Should I wait five minutes? I might wait five minutes. Well, back home. Uh, was that a complete waste of time? Kinda. Um, I mean, I did get some Christmas cards for people that I would want to get Christmas cards for. So, went to the shop. Got some of those, got some for a few dealers that I am pretty close to. So, yeah, um, I didn't get an Apple Watch. I'm gonna get an Apple Watch. I'm gonna do it, I'm sold on the idea. I mean, I want a daily watch that I wear and that is a good functional watch that can track my heart rate, my GPS. You know, I exercise quite a bit, so it would be handy to have an Apple Watch. I just don't really know which one. And to be honest, I don't really care about being able to text or you know, call people from it. Music, GPS, heart rate, steps, all that, all the basic stuff. Uh, right, so, within a couple of days, I have two watches which are now for sale. And also, I guess, uh, you know, a service that I do offer is sourcing watches, so if there's anything that, you know, I don't have that you would like, please do get in touch and let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna have some chicken nuggets for dinner. Yeah, I, uh, I'm like a 12 year old. Should I focus on my diet a little bit more? Yes. Am I lazy? Yes, do I cook? Not really. Um, am I uh, an appealing single man? No, not really. Do I care? No. But anyway, I'll close the freezer and I will see you tomorrow. I might be buying another watch. Yeah. See you face to face, I'm thinking about the days we used to be. But I can make a scene. But I can make a scene. Oh. <coughs> oh wow, just been on a run, hence the attire. Um, we are getting closer to the end of the week, but the work does not stop. Uh, I've bought another watch today, just before I went on my run. So I have bought three watches this week, three watches in three days actually, which is the most I've ever spent in a week. It's, um, but you have to, in this, you know, in this business, you have to spend money to make money. You have to turn over watches to keep the business going. So, as I said in the start of the video, I have picked up the Starbucks Submariner, the 126610LV. And this is the updated version of the Hulk, the 116610LV. This is in my personal collection, but I am strongly considering selling this watch as well. So, I mean... If you're interested, let me know, I might, I might sell it. Um, but yeah, it's awesome to see the new 41mm and the 40mm together. This was discontinued, uh, the Hulk was discontinued in 2020. Yeah, beautiful watches, the pair of them. I absolutely love them both. I then picked up, as you again, now I'm just repeating myself, I did also pick up the 126610LN, um, which is again the new 41mm uh, black Submariner, hence the LN, and then, I've also picked up a very popular watch at the moment. A very, very popular watch, in fact. And it is the, ooh, this will test me now. The 126711CHNR, there you go. Uh, it's the root beer, basically. It's the two-tone, it's the bi-metal GMT Master II. This is uh, steel and rose gold, incredibly popular right now. Probably one of the hottest pieces that Rolex do have to offer. And again, I'm selling this watch full set. By the way, all of these watches are full set, full links, box, papers, literally everything. I did sell one of these a few weeks ago for 17.5. Uh, I'll probably be slightly higher now just because prices have gone up a little bit. Uh, but if you are interested to know what price I'm selling this at, at go to my Instagram and you'll, you'll hopefully see everything there. But I imagine, I don't want to speak too soon, but I imagine I'll probably put this up for like 17.7, 17.8. Uh, but yeah, if you want to chat, do let me know. What time is it now? It's 5 to 12. So, Alex. Hi. Last episode, I told you that he had an interview. Um, he's actually had two job offers recently. Well done. 
Thanks. Very proud of him. Uh, he has accepted one of those today. So we are having some drinks, celebrating, and we're also thinking about New Year's Eve, what we want to do. And I think we're currently in the process of booking flights to New York. You know, you're, you're, you're sticking out. What? The cap, like. Well, this thing. Yeah, somewhere else you can't I know. YouTube. I've been I've been wondering what I should do with this bit, and I haven't known what to do with it. But there, there is a, a portion of the hat where you can tuck it in and actually hide it. I didn't know that. Like it goes straight in, like, like there, and you just basically just feed it through. Yeah, thanks for that advice. I've never had that kind of advice in my life. So yeah, it was on the YouTube channel. Oh really? About three weeks. Ago. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the comment. So anyway, that's the end of the episode. Thought I'd let you know. Um, a bit of an update of Alex's life because we like we like that, don't we? But if we don't go to New York now, this isn't going to see the light of day. So I hope that you publish the shit out of this. We're going to New York for New Year's Eve, and we're going to go to Tiffany and Co in New York, and we're both going to buy a 5711 Patek for fifty-five thousand pounds. Yeah, we're going to buy one, and then we're going to have drinks with Jay Z and enjoy a good night. Deal. Yeah. Deal. Deal.